Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 3 of my Bundesliga jersey review. This is the first part where we have only 4 teams. Watch the uh, first 2 videos to see how I came up with the order. Only so far the teams that I picked here, the CD team is Leipzig, meaning that's the one from the top 4. That's why you have the thumbnail from Leipzig. And yeah, I'm gonna go through them alphabetically. And this time we start with the alphabet actually a little bit further down the letters because we start with Hertha Berlin. Well, Berlin is B, but I sorted it by Hertha because that's how everyone in Germany calls it. And remember those ugly Hertha jerseys from last season? Well, Nike did good. This time we get the absolute classic Hertha kit, even down to the wider striping. I really like the center. Blue, white stripe, then white, and then blue again. It's their classic Barcelona striping. Collar, yes, it's the new style, a little, little bit weird. Uh, there's also the Berlin flag inside of the collar that no one can see. Also note that the sleeves are in the same striping pattern, which gives a little bit weird um, look on the back. Now, the only thing we can do something, where we can do something about it is the sponsor that adds another shade of blue and yellow to the overall jersey, which is a little bit strange, to be honest. I wish that there was something more monochromatic or fitting with the overall uh, look of the jersey. Uh, that's a little bit of an eyesore, and for that reason I can only give the seven stars. The sponsor was monochromatic, I could even think nine, but uh, this way only seven. The Avengers is also a typical Hertha creation. In um, I think I've seen Hertha playing in black and in red. Um, I do like the half and half idea, but why do we have then the center stripe that kind of also has this half and half? That is maybe the, my one complaint. Maybe it's also reflected in taping and maybe that's what's coming from. Uh, note how the collar is also switching up and matching with the sleeves. So yeah, I wondered if they, since there's so many Turkish people living in Berlin, that they want to kind of mimic the Galatasaray classic look. Could be. There are, there's one big eyesore and the one odd thing. The big eyesore is of course the sponsor that really will drop this jersey down and uh, the crest, honestly. As much as I like full color crest, it doesn't quite fit on there. Wouldn't you agree with me? I don't know what I, I would do better. I would maybe make it black and white, but you know, at least that I can um, close my eyes on. I do not like the center stripe. I do not like the sponsor, and for that, only five stars. Hertha also has a third jersey, which is all right. I mean, it's gray, beige. Is there some pattern on there? I, I, I don't really think there is. There's some black on the sides. Unimaginative, but you know, does the job, I would say, four stars. Because there's nothing re really, really special and the sponsor really messes it up. Hertha, you get a better look this year, but you still gotta work a little bit. It can get even better. Next up, Leipzig, the so-called city team. They will be in the Champions League. And um, f at home in the Bundesliga, they introduce one new design. I mean, it's a classic Red Bull jersey, white with red, and you have the big Red Bull logo on the center. Uh, the crest is a typical Red Bull style crest. The one thing I don't like is the navy color. That one should be red. It just does not look quite right, especially when this is one also with red pants. Not my favorite one. I do like the um, patterning on there, but other than that, again, rather average jersey. And with the navy even going a little bit lower, I would say this is a five star jersey. Something I can't really say for the um, away jersey navy fits well, and now with red, and then this the sun on the red bull is actually quite prominent. Um, but then it's also your run of the mill normal regular jersey which yeah i guess it's corporate jersey um but i like the color combination for that seven stars what i really like though is this amazing concept third prototype third kit i really hope this is this will be issued not that i want to have it i boycott everything red bull but this jersey looks awesome the navy fading light blue and red Awesome. Also the logo monochromatic makes it even better. 
This one is an absolute. This is absolute awesomeness. I mean, it looks hellish and it's fitting to red for red, red Bull. I would like to see what George, what so, uh, shorts they're wearing with this one. Probably red. Red ones should should be warm with that one. Um, if that goes out, I I really hope so. I can only give I can give this ride off the bat nine stars. This is something special, and you know, for a team with no tradition, that's actually quite a fitting jersey. Moving on to the next team, that's a team with a lot of tradition, Schalke. And Umbro, what have you done? The torso is alright, this is what you expect from a Schalke shirt. Uh, royal blue with white, I still cannot get over the Gazprom sponsor to be honest. Uh, but crest, everything looks fine. And then you look at the sleeves and you wonder what the, you know what. Uh, not only is the royal blue a little bit taken out of, but it might be royal blue, but then there's this light blue uh, specks in there and I don't know what this should be. If it's a reference to mining culture, I don't get it. Um, it doesn't make the jersey look good. I actually think a jersey would look better with white sleeves than with this mess. Honestly. I really don't like it. Four stars. The away jersey looks a little, little bit better, but can we use royal blue, please, for the sponsor and for the sleeve cuffs and for the logo, both logos? That would look a whole lot better. Can we drop the mint, teal, whatever it is? Would look a whole better, I would say. Uh, but still, I think it's an overall alright jersey. I, it has some visual, visual interest and I find it in, interesting for that. I give it six stars. Uh, and the third jersey is your typical mess. <laughs> no, I actually do, do like what they're doing here. They're using black, which is a color they have not used last season. Sorry, I need to reset a little bit. I'm doing this in quick succession. Uh, and I really like that it fades from the black into the white with the dots. Actually, there's something interesting and endearing to it. What's not endearing, uh, like with Cologne, why are we getting these stripes here on the shoulder? Make the sleeve blue or some something like that to add a little bit, little bit of color. Full color crystal. Blue and white. It's not, no, 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 no many colors. Uh, for a third choice, there's something there that I like. On Honestly, for that, I give this... Mm, yeah, I still cannot see past it. It's still six stars, but I think this one's a lot nicer. Not nice at all. In fact, the worst jersey this season in the Bundesliga. At least the first uh, main jersey, but I I would even go so far. This beats the Cologne jersey, in my point of view, is the Wolfsburg home jersey. An absolute abomination. What were they thinking? Uh, it's not only that we have the X there. This is something that Wolfsburg has been playing with for a long time. But then this electric pattern that doesn't go anywhere and it's just more confusing. The weird color choice. I mean, you have your dark green, you have your light green. It kind of fades in each other and no one knows what it wants. And the X doesn't even really fit the angles of the V and the W, which is a very old style VW. Um, do I need to talk about the weird color, although at least it is colored in the same way. This is just a hot mess. Worst jersey this season in Germany, one star only. The away jersey is a little bit better, light blue, yes, it's a different contrast, but it will not be enough to see you through the season, I, I would say. I like a light blue with the light green and the white, that actually makes some sort of sense, uh, but it's very plain, so for that reason only six stars. And I think a third jersey is the most reasonable one. I, I want to say they used this last year for an away, away jersey. It uses the light green, uses the blue. Uh, note how swoosh and crest have the same color and then the um, sponsor is kind of the dark blue. That makes a whole lot more sense to me. Um, I actually like it. I would say this is a seven star. Nothing great, but it's still a seven star jersey. Well, there you have it. Only four teams to go. Uh, Please comment below what you think about my ratings and how you would rate these jerseys. Uh, especially if you disagree with me, I would like to know where and how. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos and you want to get notified when the last part is dropping. Also, you can see all my other jer jersey reviews that I've not only done for La Liga, Premier League, now Bundesliga. I've also done it for all the international tournaments that went on 
in the summer and for last season as well. So there's a lot to watch on my channel. I hope you enjoy it. And I will talk to you soon, at least with part four of this review. Up until then, bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.